All right, boys and girls. So today, day two of Camp King Tut, we are going to be working on your t-shirt. But in order to know about that, not only do you need to walk like an Egyptian, but I want you to be dressed like an Egyptian as well. So let's take a look at this. When you look at e ancient Egyptian artwork, you'll notice that they are positioned much like the way I took your picture yesterday, if you'll remember. I asked you to have your shoulders straight, but then your head turned to the side. If you look at ancient Egyptian artwork, you will see that they are always positioned that way with their shoulders front, head to the side, and then their um, waist is kind of swiveled, kind of like, like it's just turned a little bit. So you can see the side of their legs again. Now, something that I want you to notice is something that's called the pectoral collar. And you are going to see this in all ancient Egyptian artwork. You're going to see the profile of their face. That means the side of their face. You're going to see that their hips are swiveled a little bit. You're going to see both of their shoulders. But you're going to notice that they have this collar. Now, you might be used to like a collar on your T-shirt or a little collar on your uniform. But this was kind of a big piece of jewelry that they would wear. And no matter what, they would be sporting their pectoral collar. Now, right here, I want you to notice, anyone remember what this shape is called right here? Hmm? Cartouche. Anyone remember this guy? The scarab. Anyone remember this? The onk. Let's look. Oh, we got an ujat down here. We got another onk down here. Here's a scepter. You're going to be learning that today. Whenever you see that, you'll know there's a king there. Here's a cobra. This is quite a crown going on here. He's got this one. We'll be talking more about that. But back to, oh, sorry, solar disc. Whoops. Stay focused. Here we go. Pectoral collar. You'll see pectoral collar, pectoral collar. Oh, my goodness. They are all wearing the pectoral collar. Now, this was actually someone in battle. This is the helmet of someone who's in battle. Again, you're going to notice some of the symbols we love to talk about. But, hello. Do I have to say it? Can you say it for me? Pectoral what? Pectoral collar. Yeah, she's got a lovely one. Hers has little stripes going on there with these little diamond shapes. These ladies, look at, she's in her little bikini over here, but they've got these little stripes over here. This lady has polka dots. She's got stripes over there. This is pretty awesome. He's got like these little teardrop shapes. He's got little triangles, little rectangles in there. That's King Tut right there. This lady, she kind of went with the, a whole bunch of skinny rectangles going like that. Uh, this guy's is pretty plain. I think we'll move on. Here's another pectoral collar. Am I the only one who thinks he has an abnormally large head? But it, oh, sorry, I digress. Let's move on. And then we got the man himself, King Tut. He's got circles and little triangles, and he's got the whole geometric pattern going on there. Now, today you are going to be making a pectoral collar for yourself. Ooh, look at that. That is pretty. And uh, you're going to be doing it in order to get your t-shirt. Now, uh, real quick before I show you how you're going to do this, I just want to show you these pectoral collars. This one was actually uh, worn by King Tut. And you'll notice that this one is actually shaped like a falcon. He's got a cartouche in each one of his claws. And it's cool because this is the part that would be around their neck. What you can't see here is that they would have a weight on the back of it so that it, um, like this or like this, so that it wouldn't hang down so heavy on the front of them. This would kind of be pulling back the backside. Look how cool these clasps are on this pectoral collar. Uh, let's find another one. Super cool. Okay, you already did this one. You remember the symbols from yesterday. So let's move on.